Hello everyone and welcome back to Poppy Playtime. The last episode we went and we made a friend. Uh, we, well, so, okay, that was just my favorite part of it. What we know so far is that we are an ex-employee of a company called Playtime Co. Now, Playtime Co. is known for making very lifelike, almost living-esque type of toys. Oh, and yeah, and so we've, well, I found out that there is a collectible, which I did not know about, uh, which are VHS tapes that go around and I'm pretty sure they give you just more lore and more information. So if you guys want to see a playthrough where I actually go through and I do all that, um, leave a like down below and subscribe and leave a comment. Um, we learned about this character named Poppy, which I'm pretty sure is what this is about, as you can tell, with the giant Poppy. Um, and we see it in the, we actually see this in the VHS tape that we're shown at the beginning as a, as a glitch. So not sure what that's about yet. Um, maybe, maybe they're killing people and may, maybe this is like a Five Nights at Freddy's situation where like they kill people and like make remnant or whatever and then like infuse dolls with it or something. Maybe, well, I'm, it is very FNAF based, so I, I wouldn't be surprised actually if that's what they're going for. Because we, we, we are an ex-employee, right? We received a mail, a letter. We received a letter that told us to come and to save them because the people didn't actually disappear. Um, so I'm starting to think that this is a scheme where they're trying to collect all of the ex-employees of Playtime Co. and bring them here to kill them. Um, if I'm wrong, uh, this blood could literally just be from Huggy Wuggy falling. And but he fell on this side, so I, I don't know. I don't know which one they're going for. But, oh, and whoever made these catwalks needs to be fired. <laughs> okay. I don't like... Oh, you know what this reminds me of, actually? This reminds me of the catwalks in Ruin. That's actually what this reminds me of. Oh, uh, we just need, um... Oh, what was his name? Because it's not Glitch Trap, right? In Ruin? That's not... Well, I... No. It's not MXCS. Yeah, it's Glitch Trap. Right? Or Glitch Bunny is what they're calling it. Glitch Bunny. Oh, finally. Finally. After all these years. Finally, I can get some lore. No danger, no stop. Go back, run, turn around. No stop, run. I was right. Look, I was right. 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 I'm totally right about this, you guys. Literally. So they've invited four other ex-employees here and have led them to their death. That's what this is showing us, that those people went and they made this and they've been chased by Huggy and they made it here. But in order for them to leave, they must have gone in, seen what happened, even though they know that they can't go back. So they just write it down, hoping that you can find a way to go back. That's so sad. Sorry. Well, no, I just, I was thinking, because that means that four other people have come here and they have been chased by Huggy Wuggy. They've been to that room. They got here. Like, all of them. Because, well, no, not necessarily all of them were chased by Huggy Wuggy. I mean, maybe there is a different entrance. Because if they had actually been able to like go through, maybe they still would have been redirected here anyways. Maybe there's two ways to get to this place. Maybe some of them got chased by Huggy Wuggy and others didn't. But I'm starting to think that they all did because there was writing in the tunnel. That's why I said that. So that means they must have gone in, seen what, like figured out what was happening, figured out what was going on, and then came back and tried to, you know, write you notes and write you letters telling you, hey, you need to go back, even though, but they would tell you which, oh, so that's what all the writing was in the tunnels. It was them trying to find a way back. That's why they all say don't or stop, because they must have been trying to backpedal 
and try to find a way out, but they couldn't. And so they were literally going down every tunnel. And so they all wrote it on that one spot because that's where they all came out from. Oh, that's so sad. Sorry, that just, that gets me. This And this feels very, like, boss-esque. You know, you pick up the final VHS tape and they force you. Because usually they're like, you have to find them. So this is very much like boss level. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... Okay, so... That was a lot to take in. Um... If... Okay, we're gonna assume they're talking about Huggy Wuggy because they were saying he. But this guy's ego... So, you could hear the screaming in the background. This guy was chilling in a room, probably locked off by himself, right? So he, he, he had separated himself from the rest of his crew in an office and was sitting there making a log while the monster outside killed everyone. And he even went, one more breakthrough and I'll be back. Those that are lesser than us don't understand or something like that so he's put himself up on a pedestal he really believes that he's above other people and you know that's evident from him locking himself off in a room by himself and listening to his colleagues die outside he's making the assumption that he's not gonna die that he's too above other people to die that is very good character building that's that's really good. I really like that because you can learn so much about this one guy through this one tape. He was arrogant. He thought he was above other people. He thought he could justify the experiments he was doing, which when they say experiments, you know that's not good. So he was justifying the experiments he was doing because people were beneath him and he assumed he wasn't going to die. And like, how could he die? One more breakthrough and I'll be back. Like, okay. But, and you can hear from the end, clearly things did not go his way. So we're assuming that that was Huggy Wuggy. I have missed two tapes though, so I don't have the full picture. So I am just theorizing. Okay, I'm gonna ignore all of you. Is this just a dead ass, like normal ass door? Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, the. F you guys hear that? Oh, the music stopped playing. They're like, you should have been at the end already. Okay, so there's a door here. Oh, yeah, I can- I should be able to drag this. No! Oh, okay, never mind. Crazy. So 
So, there's a little sitting area. There's toys. There's like a whole ass just for a doll. Well, no, yeah, that's not even a bed, just for a doll. I wasn't expecting that. You opened my case. What am I supposed <laughs> You open- Okay, so- Hmm. You know- I did a whole break in between this because I didn't know I was that close to the ending of the game. So now I'm going to have to recut this back into... <laughs> Gonna have to recut this back into the last video. I didn't know I was that close. I really... Okay. So yeah, so one chapter should probably be... Okay. 